Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly reading for the month of September. We are looking at an incredible month of change and September is going to be all about change for each and every zodiac sign. So we're going to look at you, we're going to look at whomever you're dealing with in your life and find out how to help you get through this first week. You're starting off the week with the Five of Swords energy, and that's combative energy, and you may very well be dealing with somebody who likes to put arguments out there, that one-upmanship where they want to take advantage and take control over you. And for others of you, this is your own self-sabotage energy that you're putting out there around you. But I feel that this is going to change as we move through that first week, in the beginning of the week. You might be feeling a little restricted when it comes to what it is you want in your life. That Four of Cups can be a person who's being bratty, who's being stubborn. I feel that's the way you are seeing this individual over here. Or they may be seeing you that way. Aries, there's some definite struggles as we start the week off. However, there is going to be something very beneficial that comes through at the end of the week. So let's look at whomever you're dealing with. You know, that Four of Cups, it can be very negative, but it can also be very positive where we're focused on what we really want. And that's a good thing. Whoever you're dealing with, they have the Nine of Swords. And that Nine of Swords energy is about fear it's about anxiety they don't like to fight you don't like to fight but yet we have this queen of cups and i feel you're dealing with somebody who causes arguments and they feel anxiety because they are dealing with a queen of cups they may be or you are dealing with a cancer scorpio or pisces individual perhaps however there's a lot of negativity here starting out the week it is going to change. This person is going to be opening up their heart. They are going to be sharing with you something about this Queen of Cups. If they are creating arguments or you find you and your partner are arguing for no reason, they're going to tell you why as we go forward. We have the Ace of Wands. And that Ace of Wands is a beautiful life and purpose. Um, this is like one of the most spiritual cards in the whole deck. The tarot is about life and Aries, this is your life where you are being very stubborn and saying, you know what, I'm not going to put up with this if they have another person. I'm not going to put up with whatever's going on and you may be intimidating this person. But this is part of your life purpose. This is part of what you're supposed to go through in order to overcome this type of energy over here. So if you're dealing with somebody who's very fearful, there is an opportunity where things are going to change. And you definitely have two fives right here. So change is coming in by midweek. By midweek, you're going to see that there is an ignited passion for this particular person, but yet you feel guilty when it comes to dealing with this. I feel this individual has another person and there is guilt because that's not really who you are. We have the card of temperance and the prince of swords. So they may be going through a divorce, they may be going through a separation, but yet there's that excitement attached to this individual. The guilt and, and uh, the restrictions that you feel, that combative energy because of what you're going through, I feel for a lot of you, this is really you being kind of stuck, do I or don't I, when it comes to this individual. The Prince of Swords can be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual, and we also have Sagittarius here as well. However, I feel that you have to be very patient while they are going through a finalization, a separation. I feel it's an actual separation, like maybe the paperwork hasn't even been filed yet, but yet you know this is on the way. So let's see what else they want you to do. You have the Nine of Pentacles and you have the Three of Cups. So you're independent and free and yet you want to celebrate, you want to enjoy life and there's that third person involved in this situation. That is not something that you would normally do. Again, it creates that guilty feeling, that conflict over this particular situ person over here. And yet they are just kind of, you know, although they have fear, they might even show it when you guys meet up. They may show it. And for some of you, this is somebody you're meeting. And this may be a first time encounter. 
where there's that struggle, but yet there's that passion, that desire. Just know that Mars in Gemini is creating this for a lot of people. So this is something you really have to work through. You have to work through on staying grounded and centered and learn, you know, to have fun without that physical intimacy. But yeah, I feel it's very intense between the two of you. Again, they have somebody around them. So let's see what's going on with them. We have the Princess of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. You see, they struggle with this also because they are in a committed relationship. And I don't think they're actually going to leave the relationship um, not because of you or that you aren't enough, because of the fear attached to leaving this particular individual. So that Queen of Pentacles is this opportunity for them to... They are going to tell you they're sorry. That is one thing for sure. And I feel by the end of the week, they're going to tell you no. They're going to say, no, I can't do this. They're going to feel very connected to their person. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn individuals. So you have a lot of zodiac signs in this reading. Whoever this is, it ignites you. It lights your fire up and it makes you frolic. It makes you want to feel this beautiful, sensual, sexual side of you that you may not have felt in quite some time. And I do believe that you do this with them as well, but they have to wait and, and I don't think they're going to make a decision anytime soon. I believe that the they may have separated, but not actually made the filing of legal separation or gone through any legal documentation. So technically, they are still attached in their mind. They are still attached. Fives are all over this reading. Change is about ready to happen for you. And it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's going to actually work in your favor but there's something here that is going to, mm, we're going to pull a couple more extra cards for you guys, Ari, because this is a situation where you really have to make the right decision for you. Now, I recommend you always follow your own intuition. You follow your gut, okay? However, um, you can always book a reading with me. I have one last opportunity open right now to schedule readings. King of Wands, a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries individual. This is you being very strong in your true self, being a leader of your own life and communicating out to them how you feel, expressing your feelings, expressing your passion, expressing that you want to be with them regardless of their situation. But yet that part of you as the king, as the king, this is somebody who understands everything. You're going to be fully aware of what you're doing. They themselves have that deep desire to do it with you as well. However, they're going to be stuck. They're going to feel complacent when it comes to making any type of action. Because they have somebody around them, I feel you both have morals and you don't feel it's necessarily the right situation. I don't talk about readings like this very often because I haven't had too many of this, too much of this energy coming through over the last couple of years. But as Mars has moved into Gemini, it's going to heighten people's sensual and sexual selves. That passion is going to be there. So you have to make sure that you are watching what you're doing, but it's about them. I feel you're aware, even though you have guilt, they also have the same guilt. The, the, you guys are probably actually a great couple or the potential could be there. But until they are done, they're sitting there waiting. They wish they could be with you, but I don't think they're going to come through this week. I think they're going to tell you no. So really analyze this situation. And by the end of the week, you'll be able to make a decision on whether you want to make a change from them or just focus on something different in your life and take that temperance energy that they're going to ask you to have. Please be patient. Please let me go through this because they have to deal with their own inner stuff. But boy, I'm telling you that that is really heightened. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as a countersuit for them. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, individual. Now you have a lot of people around you, so you guys might be uh, wanting to go out in a public environment. This King of Cups is somebody who's very romantic, very, um, they're able to create an amazing 
romantic situation, a love life that will never want for romance. They'll bring flowers and order trips and take you anywhere that you want to go. They're always going to be there, have your back, rub your back, run baths for you. This is that beautiful romantic side of a person that we like. However, they still have somebody around them and we do have this, okay? Whatever is going on, there is, even though you guys may be soulmates um, or you feel that deep desire that you are connected on a deep level, it is going to change over the next week. So you'll be making a big decision. They're going to come from the heart and they're going to speak the truth. So analyze before you uh, make your decision. I feel they're going to make it for you. I don't think you're going to have a choice in the matter. So you will come to grips with this decision. This is a highly romantic scenario right here. You guys, Aries, I hope you have an amazing week. Thank you for watching.